Brand new information on the Capitol Police response on January 6th. Tear gas and stinger ball grenades used against protesters at Lafayette Park last spring. Well, they were forbidden to be used against Capitol rioters in January. That is according to congressional testimony today from the Capitol Police Inspector General. Investigative reporter Nathan Baca listened on that hearing. And Nathan, sounds like Capitol Police were basically handcuffed from protecting Congress. Adam, we learned today that Capitol Police only had three grenadiers on duty, and those are the Capitol Police officers trained to use the tear gas launchers to push back crowds. Now, those grenadier officers were limited to using flashbang grenades, which stunned protesters, but did not leave lingering tear gas clouds, allowing police to retake areas. Officers quickly ran out of the small amount of supplies they had, having to rely on unprotected civilian police employees to run them to frontline officers. Now, the inspector general says those limits came from an unnamed deputy assistant chief. Specifically, the sting balls, uh, 40 millimeter, were not to be utilized based on um, the information that we received that they could potentially cause life altering injury and or death now, you may remember we showed you last June the same exact tear gas canisters were used by other federal police agencies to push back protesters in front of Lafayette Square Park right before then-President Trump decided to cross the street to St. John's Episcopal Church. Reporting live, Nathan Bach at WUSA 9. So, Nathan, I'd imagine a big component of this hearing is to not repeat these failures uh, again. Did the IG have any recommendations on how to prevent future attacks on the Capitol? Yeah. yeah, Adam, he actually proposed a, a riot squad of sorts, a civilian disturbance unit uh, within the Capitol Police to be trained specifically and also to effectively get hazard pay. Now, he recognized that the officers are deciding to leave for other agencies due to low morale. So he is saying that, uh, you know, people should try to that the agency should try to incentivize those folks. And also in a statement, Capitol Police said, yeah, we agree with that. We just need more time and more money. Gotcha. We're going to have to put it together pretty quickly if we want to secure that building, get the fencing down. All right, Nathan, thank you.